radiation coming from the microwave. What's an X-ray work? An X-ray works by, of course, switches because, right, when we turn on something, we can. Many people simply think of these things when they hear the word electromagnetic waves and the other big words relating to doctors, nurses, and medical stuff. However, these are big misconceptions and there really is more to its definition and its application in the medical field which may be very new to you and shocking. First of all, what are electromagnetic waves? These are waves that don't need a medium to travel. Mediums such as air, water, and these waves can pass vacuums and space. EM waves are compiled and arranged in, ele in the electromagnetic spectrum. The waves are arranged in order of, the, of their wavelengths and frequencies. From the shortest to longest wavelength or highest to lowest frequency. The low frequency waves have long <laughs> wavelengths and high frequency have shortest wavelengths but all travel at the, si at the same speed. High frequency waves also produce high energy. EM waves have many applications and means of exposure. They are found in industrial gadgets and devices such as our daily phones and computers. They are found in atmospherical conditions like the rays emitted from our sun. Communication and signal like radio channels and internet Wi-Fi. And for today's focus, medicine such as For cancer patients, the reason why they are bald is due to radiotherapy. Remember, high frequency yields high energy, and high energy gives more power. Enough to kill dangerous multiplying cancer cells and tumors. Thanks to Gamma Rays. You mean the one from Hulk? Yes, but not like Hulk. Gamma Rays have the highest frequency, shortest wavelength, and highest energy. Being radiated by a device pointed towards a body part, sending high dose of exposure, killing mutated cancer cells. We can always see injuries outside of our body. But, when do we know if we have any internal ones if we can't see them? Such as inside the brain, skeletal system, muscular system, digestive tract, and cardiovascular system. This is where magnetic resonance imaging or MRI comes to play. This technology uses magnet and radio waves to scan and view the structures within our body we cannot view physically. The radio waves inside the MRI scanners are long wavelength, low frequency, and energy waves, which is harmless to the body. The disturbances in the signals produced by our internal organs help create the images, and we can see if any diseases or abnormalities are present. Athletes or anyone who plays sports often lead into injuries, especially having our bones and skeletal system most vulnerable as these are the frameworks controlling our motion. X-rays are short enough wavelengths that can pass through less compact areas like muscles, but high-density areas like bones block their path. This allows X-rays that pass onto our bodies to view their pathways and create images of our bones, determining if we have any fractures or injuries. Just like in the topic of sports and play, 
Overworking can cause muscle pain and cramps to our bodies. Microwaves. No, n not the one for cooking. No. Microwaves and infrared rays can be applied onto our muscle tissue as heat treatment as they are viable sources of heat. Based on the study of thermal expansion, heat expands our muscles and vessels to soothe and relieve pain. Over time, an overexposure to radiation can damage our eye lenses, requiring glasses to be worn to clear our vision. But modern laser surgery using ultraviolet or infrared rays of light can be used to correct our retinal lenses, improving our vision and line of sight and not requiring glasses. Even if these are high-frequency, high-energy waves, laser surgery use lower controlled levels and have good precision to target and mold the retina to its correct shape. Surely, modern medicine and our health would not have been the same without electromagnetic waves.